Welcome to the final part of our MSC Virtuosa Northern Europe cruise, where we visit Amsterdam, sail the North Sea Canal, enjoy the white party, then spend a day at sea in the Yacht Club, before disembarking at Southampton. We started our day in a busy Yacht Club restaurant. I had eggs over easy, and Sue's had waffles. The weather was looking pretty miserable this morning. But we disembarked the ship to the sound of a local band in the cruise terminal. We headed outside in the rain. And walk towards Central Station to meet up with one of Susan's friends who lives nearby. We had a quick coffee in this little bar, then the girls left me to enjoy a couple of beers while they went shopping. We've been to Amsterdam a few times and didn't film much in the city today, but if you've not been here before, here's a few pics from our last visit which is also on our YouTube channel. It's a lovely city and well worth a visit. We met up again, had lunch and dropped Sousa's friend back at the station. Then went out beside the river to watch the boats for a while. We took a slow walk back past some of the river cruise ships. We've not done any river cruising yet, but it's definitely on our radar when we find some time. It looks really relaxing. Back on board, we had a quick coke in the top sail lounge. Then Suze went to the spa and I hit the gym. The cardio equipment is pretty good, but for me, there aren't enough resistance machines. It's not a bad gym though, overall. We got changed and went back into the lounge. then headed upstairs for dinner. Where there was a great view out over the river and the city. I had the crab cake to start and Sue's had spring rolls. For mains, I had the roast beef and Sue's had lobster belletti. I ordered a port which turned up in a generous wine measure 
and so is her limoncello. For dessert, I had a very nice creme brulee, and so said the crispy tulip, which is ice cream and pastry. This was a really nice meal. Back in the top sail lounge. We had a great view of our sail away down the river. We saw there were some swings on top of this building, which look absolutely terrifying. We passed the Galaxy Cruise Ferry, which is chartered for refugee accommodation. And further out still, we passed the Ocean Majesty, which has been used for the same role. We were now approaching the industrial area and sea locks at Imuden. The jazz trio came on, which reminded me it was white night. So I went and changed my shirt. We sat and enjoyed the views as we passed through the locks. This is a pretty slow process. We then went down to the Galleria, where this friendly barman was mixing espresso martinis. So we ordered a couple and joined the growing party. Having woke up a bit of a thirst, we retired to Masters of the Sea, the onboard pub, for a couple of drinks and to watch some of the football. The busy pub atmosphere was great fun. Then we headed back outside the pub where the party was really buzzing. Sometime later, we headed to bed. Next morning, we woke up pretty late. Just in time for the Yacht Club cocktail party. Party snacks and a glass of champagne worked well for breakfast, while we met the ship's officers and crew and all of the Yacht Club staff. Then we went down to the Galleria, where we were admiring the floral light show.
And then we had a crow parade pass through, which was really cool to see. We went for lunch. To start, I had cured salmon and Sue said a cheese fritter. For Maine, we both had the clam linguine. And for dessert, I had a creme caramel. We went back to the sun deck a bit of last minute tanning. Then decided to try the afternoon tea in the top sail lounge. We had a couple of rather strong strawberry daiquiris. Then our food arrived on a nice cake stand. And we picked our tea from a decent selection of loose leaf. Overall, this was very nice, but we still rate the Fred Olsen afternoon tea as the best we've had on a cruise so far. We sat and watched the ships and the sea for a while. Then went to pack. A lot of our stuff was already in packing cubes. So it didn't take too long to move around the cabin and fill our cases. And then it was dinner time. We ordered what had become our usual dinner drinks, a dry rosé and a champagne. Then I had fried mixed seafood for starter. For main, I had ossobuco. And Sue's had lasagna bolognese. For dessert, I had my third tiramisu of the cruise. Can't resist those on an Italian cruise ship. And Sue's had lemon delight. Again, a very pleasant meal. We sat and enjoyed the entertainment in the lounge for a while and couldn't resist trying the caviar crisps which taste like not too sweet prawn cocktail. Then we put our luggage tags on and our cases out to be collected. before heading to a really packed theatre to see MSC's new Michael Jackson tribute show. Which was really good. And on our way back, post for a quick selfie before heading to bed, where he'd been left a nice little note and some chocolates. Next morning, we were back in Southampton. We grabbed a couple of pastries from the self-serve counter for breakfast. Had a nice cup of coffee, then said goodbye to our awesome butler as she escorted us off the ship and we caught a cab back to the West Quay car park where we paid our parking bill and loaded the car. 
Overall, we've had a great time on this cruise. Thanks for watching.